Hi, this is Sarah from Mixam. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a spine and cover spread for both hardcover and perfect bound products using InDesign. You can create these files in other design programs, but we find here at Mixam that InDesign is the most helpful in creating these files. First, I'll show you how to create a spine file. If you aren't creating a cover spread for your book, then providing the spine separately is completely acceptable. Please note that spine files do need to be uploaded as PDFs and not image files in order to show correctly on our website. Uploading image files will often cause the spine to become distorted or unreadable, so uploading as a PDF is really the way to go. Let's open InDesign. You can find the spine width of your book in the artwork tab of your order. It will be listed with the other order specifications. Most spine widths are going to be pretty small. So before we put in the spine width at all for our InDesign file, we need to change the margins. By default, margins are usually set to half an inch. If you try to enter the spine width before adjusting the margins, it will default to the smallest size to accommodate the margin, which is around one inch. Once the margin is set to zero, then we can change the width of the page to the spine width and keep the height as is. Now we need to add bleed. You can add bleed on all four sides, but it is only necessary for the top and bottom of the spine. You can change this by clicking on the link icon on the right. This will break the link and allow you to change the bleed measurements individually. I'll put the bleed on the top and the bottom, then press create. Now we have our spine. If you are looking to add text to your spine, our recommendation is a minimum of seven point for your text. Anything smaller may become unreadable. Design your spine and then export as a high quality print PDF with bleed. Now, if you want to provide a cover spread or one large image for your cover and spine, as opposed to supplying the files separately, then you will follow these steps. Let's create a new document. So we are doing an eight and a half by eight and a half paperback book. Then we will fill in the measurements for the width and height. Type in the number of pages as three, one for your front cover, one for your back cover, and one for your spine. Make sure the margins are set to zero and then add your bleed, 0 0.125 inches or three millimeters, to all four sides and press create. We now have three pages. The workspace I'm using for InDesign is called Essentials Classic. You can change that up at the top of the window, clicking window, workspace, Essentials Classic. Now that we have our pages, you will see a window on the right that says pages with little page icons that you can interact with. Select a page in this window. At the bottom, there will be a button that looks like two pages on top of one another. This will allow us to change the page size. Click this and then select custom. A window will appear. We want this page to be our spine, so we will be changing the width of the page to the spine width of our book, then click OK. Now this page is very skinny. We will go back to the top of the window, selecting all pages until they are highlighted in blue, and then right or double clicking. There will be two checked options. You will want to unselect both. Allow document pages to shuffle and allow selected spreads to shuffle. Now we want to click and drag these pages in the page window until they are next to each other. We want the spine in the middle of the two covers. We have now created a cover spread. This is set up as if you opened a book and placed the inner pages flat on a table with the covers facing up. Your back cover will be on the left, the spine in the center, and the front cover on the right. Make your design, and once you are finished, you will export as a high quality print PDF, selecting the export page option as spreads. Now for hardcovers, they are very similar, but we have an added element. Not only will the bleed area be much bigger at 0.8 inches or 20 millimeters, but we also need to account for the hinge area. The hinge is the indentation on either side of the spine that allows the hardcover book to open and bend. When you supply hardcover cover files as individual pages, this is accounted for in the 0.8 inch bleed area, but for a spread, we need to be sure to account for this area in the design. Let's start a new document. This time we will need five pages, one for each cover, one for the spine, and two for the hinge areas. The margin should be set to zero, and the bleed we need is 0.8 inches. We create the document, navigate to the page window on the right, change one page to the spine width as we did previously. Now select two other pages. These will be the hinge area. The measurement we need for this area is 0.2 inches or five millimeters. Now we select all pages right or double click and unselect the allow document pages to shuffle and allow selected spreads to shuffle. Click and drag the pages until they are one large spread. From left to right, it should go cover page, then hinge, then spine, then another hinge, and then the last cover page. Same as the other cover spread, your back cover will be on the left, 
the spine with the hinges on either side in the center, and the front cover on the right. You should export this document as a high quality print PDF, selecting the export page option as spreads. Be sure to include cover spread in the name of your PDF file to ensure our website recognizes the file properly. You should also ensure that if you are uploading a spine separately, that this has the word spine in the file name as well. You will either supply the covers and spine separately, or you will supply a cover spread. There is no need to provide both. Make the file names as clear as possible, as our system does use this information to determine the file's placement. We hope you find this tutorial helpful. Please feel free to contact our customer support team with any questions. You can contact them via phone, email, or through the messages tab of your order. Until next time!